Hello everyone. Today's video are classic ear drops. There are two sets of really simple but very dressy earrings. I start off with a slab of approximately 2.5 to 3 centimeters. Um, the thickness of the slab is approximately 2.5 to 3 centimeters and using a bunch of square shaped cookie cutters I cut out the shape. So this is the first design. So I'm working, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm working on two uh, earrings. So this is the first one. The cookie cutter is lined with a little bit of oil to get a neat, nice cut. Just gives a clean uh, cut. We'll retain that slab because uh, we can use it for the next pair as well. I smoothen this. And using my fettling knife, I smoothen the surface as well. I begin designing it with the help of um, just a cookie cutter over here, followed by a um, ballpoint pen refill rather a ballpoint pen or parts of a pen. This is my fettling knife and I'm giving a slightly floral pattern to this. This is a brass tube. I use this to uh, make um, holes in beads uh, but it obviously serves well for this purpose as well. So uh, this is a nozzle. I think some of you have asked me where I got that from. So um, earlier when I got the E6000 um, adhesive that came along with the um, with that so that I just retain that uh, because it gives me a really nice design so this is the stud part I'm just repeating the same design this earring has three parts the stud the center comes the connector bead um, and obviously the bottom half I'm using a gauge 26 nichrome wire U pin to connect them it's better that the connector bead is completely dried uh, before um, using it otherwise there's a good chance that everything might just get slightly disfigured so it's better that some things are at least um, dried and uh, you know it'll be easier to assemble the earrings and there you go the first design is ready really pretty very light in weight already so you can imagine that you know once it's fired it obviously reduces its weight even more this is the second design. I'm using a petal shaped cookie cutter for this. I repeat the same uh, process uh, after this as well. I smoothen, I smoothen each of the pieces um, and if necessary with a little bit of oil but it's not necessary for me because there's already a little bit of oil on that and uh, using my fettling knife I smoothen the surface. Using parts of a pen I begin designing this. I'm giving this a slightly um, leaf kind of a design, uh, just going by the shape of it, that's all. It's easy, it's, um, it's you know, it's, it's very, even if you are a beginner, you can actually attempt doing this. Um, the simple dressy earrings and in a later point in the video you'll obviously get to know that the colors that I've also used uh, you know just accentuates the beauty of the earrings I mean you might probably not want to wear a jhumka all the time and uh, you know I think this is just um, good enough or in fact sometimes even better especially because they are so light in weight and jhumkas do have a tendency to be a bit heavy these are stick beads and this too will be connected using the uh, connector bead in the center. Once again, using a gauge 26 nichrome wire U pin to connect uh, the stud and the bottom half. Using the help of my bent nose plier in order to get this all assembled. And there you go, the second design is also ready. Now that both the pairs are ready, we let this dry and once the earrings have dried, it's fired in an electric kiln. Hello everyone, hope you all are enjoying the video so far. Uh, so this is uh, just to inform you about the members videos. Now our membership videos are back. 
I will be uploading one video on the 15th of every month um, which will be exclusive to members only. So there is a join button and uh, if you click on that, you'll get to see the perks. So obviously what I'm, uh, what my channel is basically offering is one video on the 15th of every month. So you can see the details and if interested, please do join. Uh, we have some great content coming up. Uh, so let me know if you have any uh, questions and uh, thank you so much. Let's continue with the video. So once you become a member, you will have access to our older members exclusive videos as well. Let's continue with the video. So um, this is already fired. Uh, the colors that I've laid out are anti gold, red and black. The paint brushes are uh, just both of these. So one's a liner brush and one is just a simple round tip soft bristle brush. So uh, I start off with the first one. I've already diluted uh, the paints and uh, kept it ready. So this one is going to be black and gold. Once again, a classic must have combination in your wardrobe. Whether it's a kurta or just um, you know whether it's uh, it's a salwar kameez or uh, you know a kurta that you're wearing or just even a sari um, I'm sure you know most of us have something in black and gold um, I think it's a beautiful dressy um, and a must-have combination so except for the beads uh, the connector bead and the stick beads everything else is getting painted in black a nice neat even coat and once the black paint has completely dried I begin uh, applying gold paint for the uh, stick beads and the connector beads I'm repeating the same thing over here just that this pair of earring is in red and gold another beautiful combination Like I said, the stick beads as well as the connector beads are going to be in gold. Let's begin designing it. Like I said, I'm not using any other color apart from uh, gold to design um, design the design both the earrings. In fact, so for all of this, I'm using my uh, liner brush. I got a little bit of paint there, so I'll just remove that before it dries. These are very light in weight and uh, yet they look beautiful, dressy and they do stand out. Um, you know, it's not that because they are so simple, they don't stand out. Um, they look really pretty. And that's it. This earring is ready. Let's go on with the next one. This is absolutely no fuss uh, painting, no fuss design, everything is very straightforward, really pretty and uh, the outcome is, I mean honestly you'll think there's a lot more work that's gone into the whole thing but um, you know and also when you wear, um, I mean I'm making these earrings for myself and um, I, you know, I, I know I, I don't have second thoughts about what I'm going to wear it with. <laughs> Like I said, I think most of us would have something in this combination of red and gold and black and gold. And uh, I think something like this would even work beautifully with a combination of orange um, and, uh, you know, I think some other colors as well. I think the black and gold would go well with some other uh, combinations too. So now that the painting is done, it's time to varnish some using the ultra matte. 
begin gently um, varnishing it so the varnish that i use can be diluted with a little bit of water and that's typically how i do it because the varnish right out of the bottle is um, is a little too thick for uh, it's um, you know it just gets slathered on too thick and that's not something which i want so it can be diluted with a little bit of water and that's why it's got that slightly runny consistency now that the varnish is dried i uh, time to stick the attach the stud post i use e6000 and uh, apply a little quantity and i press it down with the help of my uh, nozzle to just make sure the post the stud post is fixed very well i let that dry for 3 days before use and there you go all of these these this beautiful both these pairs i'm i absolutely love the outcome uh, like i said i'm making this for myself and it is incredibly light and that's what i like about them uh, so i really hope you all enjoyed watching the video uh, these are really pretty earrings let me know what you think of the video in the comments please like the video and uh, do subscribe uh, to our youtube channel thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching